Guys, welcome back to another daily vlog. I'm in a massive rush today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, get subscribed. And if you're new around here, drop a like rating. Anyway, I've cancelled my 3.30 p.m. meeting this afternoon, which is in 25 minutes. I've cancelled it because I got a text from my hairdresser this morning. Yeah, my hairdresser. And he said today at 3.30 p.m., there's one of my subscribers going to get their hair cut and they mentioned to him that they absolutely love me. So me and my hairdresser have teamed up, right? And I'm gonna go plant a camera there, right now in the hairdresser, or in the salon. And then Rob, the hairdresser, is gonna text me when he's finished cutting his hair and I'm just gonna stroll in and we're hopefully gonna capture his reaction. As I say, I've canceled my 3.30 p.m. meeting this afternoon to do this because meeting you guys is my favorite thing to do in this entire world. Right, let's get to the office. Right, so it's Friday today, the traffic was mad, I'm really, really late, I was going to go plant a camera in, in the barbershop, but he's already there getting his hair cut right now, so I'm just going to go surprise him. This is going to be awesome. So my office is there, the barber shop is there. One of the lads at work is uh, his missus from South Wales. Uh, Look behind you. He gave me number. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, dude. Hi. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Oh, Cheers. Nice to see you. Thanks, guys. Cheers, guys. I made his day, but it's also 100% just made mine. One day last week, I was sat outside having my tea on the patio, and whenever I'm sat outside having my tea on the patio, this has happened a grand total of two times now. I've gone live on Instagram. You know you pick up the Instagram stories, which they copied off Snapchat, but you can actually go live, and it's like a live stream, and... So a good thousand of you guys joined, and when all of you guys were there, I asked you guys, how can I improve the vlogs? Is there anything I can do? Two things stood out to me in this. I love music, I do. Music makes the world go round, in my opinion. I get up every morning, I listen to music, it's my motivator, and it's what I go to listen to if I'm feeling down. Both ends of the spectrum. Every single one of these vlogs includes a different track from an artist I support on SoundCloud, and nine times out of ten, if I remember, I'll put the link to their track in the description that's used in that vlog. A lot of people said on this Instagram live story, one way to improve the vlogs would be to not to not use music, but turn it down a bit. I apparently, I, I, it's too loud. <laughs> I'm a fan, I'm a fan of Sony cameras. You guys know this, I use the A7S Mark II as my daily vlogging camera. Currently shooting this right now is the Sony A6500. This is also a very capable camera, as you can tell. And the second thing you guys said was, Alex, the camera is sometimes too close to your face. And that's because I don't know if the camera is zoomed in or not. Shortly after the stream, somebody sent me a picture on Twitter of a modification I can do to this camera with something down there which should hopefully help me. By the way, you guys have got this video and the whole weekend of vlogs to put comments in the comment section, bad jokes, to win this. I'm gonna send it off on Monday. All you need to do is drop a like rating, make sure you're subscribed, which you obviously are. And drop a joke in the comment section that's funny because it's not funny. You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. Huh? You pooped in the refrigerator. Cool, thank you, babe. The last one. It's got to be. Put a link to this in the description if you guys want to pick it up. This is the gel I use for my hair. It is the best. Link in the description. Honestly, just try it. It's, it's, it's a game changer. Hello. So now we're looking at the camera head on, I can see if this white line is at the top of the camera, it means I'm on 16 mil, which is its widest, and then if it's anywhere off the middle axle of the camera, I'm obviously zoomed in. Thank you to whoever tweeted me the image of that after my Instagram live session. The picture was really zoomed in, but it looks like it might have been a screenshot from one of Casey's videos. So if it was Casey, you're a, you're a borderline genius. Uh, only borderline though, because now, um, well, my camera has a big, <laughs> a big white stripe down the middle of it. 
Right, okay, the amount of questions I get. I swear this video is just me answering your guys' questions. Well, I suppose that's how this is meant to work. You guys, are, we're all a team, and if you ask me a question, I'd like to answer the questions. The question that I got a lot yesterday. Okay, Alex, how do you turn, this is your question, Alex, how do you turn this, which is just a video clip, into something like this, which just infinitely loops round and round and round. Like, if you watch that, it would carry on going forever. How do you turn this into this? Let me show you. Right, let me show you guys how to do this. First off, I'm gonna blow your mind. You put the video, the video, into Photoshop, but first, I don't like my video looking how it looks out of the camera. I like to make it look like this. That's my look. So first, open your editing software, drag in the video clip, find your favorite about five or 10 seconds. Mine's gonna be here to about here. Delete the rest. Mess around with the video to make it look how you want the video to look. And then when your short clip looks how you want it to look, export. Now you should end up with a three or four second clip which looks how you want it to look and just replays over and over. Now this is where the magic happens. You put this small video into Photoshop. And then when you're finished you get this. It's every day bro with the same boy flow. Bully at school, now you bully in your bro. Pretty cool, right? I'm gonna drop a link to my friend Peter McKinnon's video in the description. He is where, back in the day, I learned to do what these are, these cinemagraphs. He taught me how to do them on his YouTube video, and he's such a sound guy. I'm gonna drop his link in the description if you guys wanna check out how to make these yourself. He has the full in-depth tutorial. It's about 20 minutes long. But there you go, you can see the smoke coming from the car. That is sick. Hopefully you guys now can stop asking me about these cinemagraphs and how to do them because it's quite a lengthy process. So hopefully, good old Peter McKinnon can sort you out. So this is a Slick Revolution electric skateboard and it has a USB port on the bottom of it so that you could charge the, well, the, the plasticky controller that comes with it, right? And I saw a picture of somebody attach a load of LEDs to a boosted board, but the boosted board doesn't have a USB on the bottom. One up for Slick Revolution there, boosted board you suck. Figure out a way to attach those LEDs to the boosted board and we'll make a, a nighttime skateboarding video in, in tomorrow's vlog. Because I think that, that will just look absolutely sweet. By the way, Billy's with us. Who's Billy? Hey Billy. Right, it took me longer than I thought it would to make that cinemagraph. I'm gonna put that on Instagram by the time this video is up. If you don't follow my Instagram, it's Alex Mars, A-L-E-X-F-R-O-M-A-R-Z. I need to go pick up the girlfriend. She's staying around mine tonight. Oh, oh, oh.